happens all the time. Someone comes up to me in church and says, Pastor Mike, I'm so excited I got a Bible. I can't wait to read it cover to cover. And I'm like, don't do that. What? Today, how to read the Bible. Hey, my name is Mike Lawrence. I'm lead pastor at Faith Community Church. And we thought we could do a little DIY episode, how to read your Bible. Boom. All right, hey, first of all, don't think of it like a book. Don't read it cover to cover. If you've never read the Bible before, don't read it cover to cover. If you're experienced with the Bible, great idea. Why? Because the Bible isn't written like that. The Bible is actually a collection of books arranged by themes that have been developed over thousands of years in different cultures by a multitude of people. I mean, it's a big deal. A lot of people, when they're new at the Bible, want to start in the beginning and get their way to the end and get really lost and discouraged by the second book. Okay, don't do that. If you've never read through the Bible, let me give you some steps on what to do, some resources that could be helpful to you, and a little tip about how to navigate the Bible. Think we can do that? I think we can do that. You're really intelligent. Let's try. All right, so first of all, navigating your Bible. Know this, like I said, it's actually a collection of books. Some monk, thousand years ago or so, decided, hey, we really need some help to find specific places in the Bible. So he took the different books, broke them down by chapters, put little numbers in the sentences called verses. And so when we say go to John 3, 16, it means the Gospel of John, which you can find in a table of contents in the beginning of your Bible. The three, which is on the left hand of the colon, refers to the chapter, which is typically a big number. And the 16 is the little numbers that's in the sentences as you're reading. Or you could be really smart and you can download the Bible onto your phone or tablet. And then it's just a hit the button, hit the button, hit the button, you there. How's that? Reading the Bible. There's a couple of things that you could do and if you've never read it before. First of all, don't try to read it cover to cover, right? Just, I would say, go into what we call the New Testament, which is everything that was written about Jesus in the first church. The Old Testament is everything that was written before Jesus. That's what we call them in Christianity. Pick one of the four Gospels about Jesus. Okay, a Gospel is just an author wrote a collection about the life and teachings of Jesus, and they called it a gospel because it's boom, 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 boom. good news. All right? Pick one of those four. Read one. Mark's the shortest. I send a lot of people to Mark. It's really helpful to learn about Jesus. Other things that you can do in reading the Bible. Consider that the Bible is a translation that you read of ancient languages, a lot of different versions, and it's easy to be able to find a version of the Bible in a form of English that you can understand. Dun, dun, dun. So I would, if you're just gonna start, I would go to your app store and download the Bible app. <laughs> Makes sense, right? The Bible app is given out by this church. Well, it's like 1300 different languages, over a thousand different versions of the Bible in it. And it's free put it on your phone, you put it on your tablet, then it's easy to navigate. You can find a version that you actually uh, can understand. You can even listen to the Bible read to you. Oh, what an idea. Go for a run, listen to the Bible. There are reading plans in it, so that this is the other thing. Maybe you don't wanna just jump into a book. Maybe you wanna get your feet wet reading the Bible. The Bible app has reading plans, and those reading plans give you short passages out of the Bible with an article written by an author to kind of help you apply what you're reading into your life. And there can be short, they can be long, they can be your choice. It's a great resource. And then when you're standing in line at the supermarket and there's all these people in front of you, you can pull out your phone. Instead of going on social media, you can read the Bible. How's that? But free. Other resources. There's a great web site. It's called The Bible Project. It's got these amazing videos that help you understand the Bible. They're about the specific books of the Bible, characters in the Bible, themes in the Bible. You can watch that. It's a real great resource. We have, uh, it's, you kind of have to get access to this through our church or through a church, it's called Right Now Media. It has a ton of videos 
with people teaching you about the Bible, because sometimes it's helpful to have somebody teach you a little bit more about the Bible. And a great resource that ties a lot of this together is something called the Filament Bible. By the way, there are links in with this video. They'll just take you to all these remarkable places where you can find these things with just a click of a button, right? The Filament Bible, you, what you do is you get the free app that goes along with it. It's a great translation that a lot of people find easy to understand. You scan the page number and then booyah! It's like rubbing the, the lamp and the genie comes out and it gives you, uh, it takes you to all this stuff that helps you explain what the verses are saying that you're reading. It gives you a bunch of places, which gives you reflections to help you understand and apply it to your life. And it connects to the Bible Project, where you get video and Bible all in one place. Praise, 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 praise. Think of that like an echo. It even brings you a connection to songs that help you worship as you read the Bible. Awesome. There, look at There's so many other things I could say about the Bible, but I promised that I would keep this short. So connecting to a community helps you to read the Bible. You can email me, mike at faithma.org. I will send you hyperlinks to Bibles that will help you. How's that? For free! Think of the echo again. All right, hey, if this video was helpful to you, you can leave a comment below. You can like or share this page. You can subscribe to it. We're here to help. Look, I had some fun with this, but the point is it's a great decision to get involved with the Bible. Just you want to do it thoughtfully so you don't get discouraged and give up. And then the day will come when you read through the whole Bible and you go, wow, that was the most amazing experience of my life. Hey, hope, hope this helped you. God bless and have a great day.